Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of the project Raptor class and in this project we will actually start to print a part of this model. So without further ado, uh, let's go straight back to the Creo and look what we will do today. So here we are in Creo and in this part we will actually take a look at this very bag. As you can see it's a rather, well, not really big part of the overall model but printing everything actually took quite a lot of time because as you may remember the ship is actually quite large over a meter long so uh, here we are this is the back and this is what we will do today so i think it would be best if we take a look uh, how exactly everything goes together and um, what you can expect so we will start with this part now uh, please bear in mind i have it i have all the uh, places uh, sorry all the parts uh, which are not visible uh, blue because i used the blue spare filament which i had uh, and uh, yeah the it will not be visible so it doesn't matter and uh, because I will print it blue, I made it blue here as well. Okay, so as you can see, um, basically this part is divided into two. So we have first and then uh, only the second uh, coming together just like Lego. And then we have uh, this one and its second piece here. So this is the first half. Now, as you may have guessed, all those holes will accompany one pin. So, yeah, here we have a pin uh, with uh, the diameter of 20 millimeters. So these are actually twice the length, oh, sorry, twice the diameter of uh, the standard pins which I use. And then we will basically have the mirror parts. So the second side, I guess. Okay, so this is basically a skeleton of the back. And as you can see, all those pins, they are here to actually hold the actual plates. So, first one is uh, here. So it has corresponding holes for, for the pins. Then the same well, mirror, mirror one on the other side. Then this one. And once again on the other side. Which make the side parts. And now... Now we have the bottom one. With the hole for the drone hub. We have the first top one and then as you can see here it has the locks and the locks are for the second part of the top yeah which has those locks here as well so that the two parts go together and this is the upper part and now the details so basically here we have the at most back coming here and as you can see it has four logs for the pieces here uh, they are three three of them are the same and they have the holes here uh, for for this pin and uh, there is one uh, slightly different because it's not entirely symmetrical. Yeah, so this is the, the back. And now the color pieces. So yeah, the orange, the second orange and the 
Last one is the grey. Ah, sorry. Last one is the grey. Yeah, here. And last but not least is the actual drone hub. The drone hub works exactly like the one uh, in the Orion class, so nothing really worth mentioning. One piece with the cover and the secondary part, and that's it. Well, and of course, the drone itself inside. So, like that. As I said, it's exactly the same as uh, in the Orion class, though the overall shape is a little bit different, but the well mechanism is the same. And so this is what we will actually print now. So uh, let's go straight into it. And here we have all the parts. So well, we start having this part of the of the skeleton basically and we will put them together so, like that. Uh, in the second piece i already put the two halves together yeah just like this and then we will slide them together like that and we will do the same for the second sides so that we have second side sorry so we have this and i already inserted the pins and so we will put the two pieces together and we have it like this and now we will start to actually uh, put uh, the plates on it so we start with with, we, we start with the big big pieces sorry it's quite uh, big already and yeah well uh, it will be kind of problematic to you know uh, manipulate it uh, over camera but I will, I will certainly try so uh, this piece comes here for holes for pins okay like this then we will take this piece and it will come here once again three holes three pins okay like that and we will do the same on the second side okay like that and now we will uh, take this piece and this piece they have the locks so we put them together like that and now insert them here like that okay so that's that uh, now i will put the middle by the side and now uh, because we have to insert the bottom part we will first um, assemble the drone hub so here we have the drone so i will put it inside and then the cover and the second part Okay, well, funny thing, I managed to actually break the uh, holding pin, so opening it will now be kind of problem, but I guess I I don't know if I will reprint that of, or uh, if I can live with that, but in any case, now we will insert the hub here. Like that. And then we insert the piece here like that and now the last thing is to actually insert the very end 
we put it here and then we start to insert all those pieces okay and that's it that's the whole bag uh, oh of course I'm moron no it's not because we are missing uh, the colors okay so here we have the colors so we will start okay one is there then the second one and the gray one okay like that and we will do the same for the second side okay like that so as you can see that's the back entirely done and it's already quite big and quite heavy so i guess you can imagine how the actual ship will be big ah yeah this will not be easy to manipulate with anyway uh this is all uh so uh, this is the bag as you can see uh, no glue required everything fits together uh, in few places quite tightly so yeah it is quite sturdy okay uh, so that would be all for this part of the video and in the next one we will take a look at the sides i hope you liked it have a very very nice day and bye bye